please be advised of the disclaimers. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Cy with Pinnacle Trading here. I know I've been away for about two weeks, been super busy, but right now we're going to get into three Chinese companies, the uh, three Chinese stocks that I'm looking to purchase right now. Um, I'm going to look to start to load up on these in the coming weeks. So let's jump into that. But first, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like these in the future. And also hit that bell button so you get the immediate notification on your app or mobile whenever a new video comes out. So just take a look at the overall market. You know, I like to look at S&P 500. That's the symbol for that one is SPY. So this chart, you can see that market has just been on a constant grind, just keeps going up. It's insane. If we look at the yearly chart, which is what we're looking at right now, you see the RSI, it's over 70. When something's over 70, we consider it being overbought and no longer really a good deal possibly a pullback coming up doesn't always have to follow the pattern but you know patterns to repeat you know we just want to be a little bit careful tread lightly on that one so a lot of euphoria in the market you know think it's a little bit of a bubble right now we've seen that before we saw the dips in this highlighted section we see some market dips right here but they just can't break and stay below 50 SMA, and things just keep going up so if we look at a three year, we look at a larger chart on the 20 year chart, we can kind of see that, you know, we're really, uh, anytime the RSI has gone over 70, 80, something like that, we've seen a pretty drastic pullback uh, back in 2008, 2009. You see the same RSI right here. Uh, let me zoom in this region. You see the RSI just fluctuating over 70. And the when it runs up, it's mostly like sideways, not too much we're kind of seeing that over here as well but again i'll do a separate video on this one but let's jump into the first one uh this is the first chinese stock or chinese company that i'm looking to purchase uh this is going to be baba -B -A. as you all are already know it's going to be alibaba so this one recently had a pullback and it came down all the way to about 220 a little bit below 220 and then it came up you know it just immediately bounced back up it was down for about a week or so it had a lot of buyers come in and then just gapped up but now we're kind of seeing another sell-off so is this a good opportunity i think so for long term i think it can go down a little bit maybe test a 220 and then potentially bounce back up so i really like to look at the overall chart let's pull up the 20-year chart and you can just see solid earnings positive earnings uh positive revenue reports on this one just keeps going up and then we see this below uh just kind of uh holding on this one at 220 area but if we look at a little bit zoomed in chart we can see the three year you know nice run up on this one despite what has been going on with the trade relations and all of that in the past couple of years i think this can see a little bit of a pullback when i look at the key price points i look at the fibonacci chart so i'll keep I'll go through these uh, very briefly. I'll try to keep it simple as possible. So if you're a new investor, trader, uh, if you like to swing trade, whatever it is, you know you can easily follow along. So key price support that I'm looking at, the price that I'm looking for it to hold is gonna be that 220. You can see that anytime I hit that 220, right here, hit the resistance 220, pulled back, hit the 220, pull back a little bit, and then it went up. And then same thing, pull back to 220, went up, same thing 220, and then one back up so what happened what do you think will happen next time when it breaks down to 220 or breaks below that most likely going to bounce so patterns do usually repeat doesn't mean they have to but you know we have a high probability of that happening again we have a resistance at 240 which means that's the level we're looking for it to break over and be the next support so when it breaks over we want it to bounce off of that level and then keep going up again and repeat so i'm looking at the 220 support and 240 resistance, 240, 245 resistance right there. So let's jump into the next one. This is gonna be uh, BIDU. This is gonna be uh, Baidu. So on this one, you know, this really pulled back when it sold off uh, a couple weeks ago, it really sold off on this couple of days. It fell all the way from 260, uh, right below 200. It broke all the way down to, you can see on the low, if you look at the, box right here at the top left you can see it fell all the way to 174 and i saw that happen in the intraday moment i thought it would fall you know kept it would keep falling so i was a little hesitant because i want to see what would happen and next day just gapped up over 200 and kept going and then it kind of sold off a little bit more 
So I'm looking for a little bit of a pullback on this one to maybe about 200, uh, 210. You know, let's see what happens on this. Same thing with Baba. I'm looking for that to pull back a little bit. But if we get the pullback, you know, I'm looking for a strong bounce. Also look at the MACD trying to curve back up. RSI also bouncing off the 30 area. And this flag pennant right here, we see a flag which kind of shows that's a bullish flag. The predicted price range is going to be 262 to 313. And these have been pretty accurate in the past. Uh, you can put in patterns on Thinkorswim if you select the pattern. You can add whatever you want on here or Fibonacci, whatever you want. Uh, but this one, the one on Thinkorswim that are built in have been pretty accurate before. So I'm looking for a strong bounce on that one. If you look at a Fibonacci chart, you can also see that it bounced or it fell to the 186 and look at how it immediately the, the candle wick below it immediately closed over that it stayed above so if it does break down i don't see it really going below too much below 186 180 area but most likely will stay above 200. so just keep that in mind looking at a 200 support the 220 support areas and then resistance i'm looking all the way up at 250 because if it can break over and we have more buyers come in for long term we get a short squeeze i uh, can easily see that 250 break over so next one is going to be the third and final one uh this is going to be neo uh, this is the chinese automaker they make uh, electric vehicles and such so look into the company before you get into it because i'm not a financial advisor in any way you should do your own research. Uh, these are just my suggestions. These are just my analysis. Everybody else can be different. So make sure you do your own due diligence and research first. But on this one, we see kind of a squeeze out uh, because we saw all time highs were about 66 and came down because it kind of became a bubble. All the electric vehicle things became a bubble. Same thing with Tesla. Let's take a look at Tesla real quick. Just as an example, went all the way to 900 pull back to about 545, almost a 50% drop. So if we go back into NEO, we can kind of see the same thing, but Tesla recovered. I'm looking for this one to recover as well. We kind of see that on the green candle here. It's really getting squeezed out. So we, it's holding the 200 uh, SMA support. So if we look at a Fibonacci chart on this one, we can see it's just holding that 50% retracement. So that is a solid area to hold. Being that it is holding that 34, 35 area i'm looking for to take a position kind of on this immediately uh monday maybe at open uh if it does the dip below i'll look to kind of average in i like to scale in and scale out so i'm looking to take an immediate position on this one so this one uh let's go back into the fibonacci chart we can see support at 34 so let's just call it 35 for a whole number and then resistance at the 40 level uh, 41.85 but we'll just call it the 40 level. So 35 to 40, just watch that region for the load up zone. And then if it does shoot over, we can easily see resistance of 51 and I'm back at all time highs at 66. So that's my analysis on these three. Uh, also, if you're not in the chat room, it's free to join. I'll call out everything live. So before you even watch this video, I may have already called it out. So just you know, join the chat room. It's completely free. Link is in the description below. We call out trades, what we're looking at, day trades, uh, swing trades, long-term investing alerts. And we have a general um, tab. We also have a daily watch list and charts and analysis where I post each one. Uh, what I'm thinking about and kind of just my analysis breakdown on each one. So chat room is free to join. Link is in the description below. Again, if this video helps you out, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button and the bell button uh, to stay notified on future videos. If you want to enhance your education, kind of learn how I did the chart analysis on each stock uh, the breakdown. That was a very brief. That's just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more research and things you need to do before entering a trade and exiting a trade and knowing how to manage a trade, uh, whether it's day trading, investing, swing trading, whatever it is. Head over to my website, pinnacletrading.us. You can also join the chat room hitting the button here. And if you want to enhance your education, learn how to become more, more uh, independent, uh, you know, diligent trader uh, with take things with confidence and learn about stock market education, trading and investing, and some of my secrets to you. This is a course that I offer, which offers you all of that. So if something that's something of uh, value to you, make sure to grab that right now. And again, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I hope this video helped you out. Uh, last video, I called out six overalls, 
oversold stocks to buy and we made some solid money on pretty much all of them all six were wins on that one and four stocks to buy now they were wins as well so i do a lot of my analysis on this one and this video costs you nothing it was free i i take my time out of the day to make this video for you guys so just show support hit that subscribe button and the like button and i'll see you in my next video